Alright, and I heard somebody, uh, somebody asked for this one. This is a really old song um, that I actually did re-record on the, um, on the XOA recording I made. And, um, it's 10 years old, at least, because um, I wrote it when I was a student. And I studied abroad in Egypt, and um, uh, it was, I, I went at the end of the semester, as I was living in, in Cairo, and my friend came to visit, and we went traveling in the, in the area, in the region. We went through like Jordan, and Lebanon, and Syria, and um, it was very different back then, you know, a um, whole different, different part of the world. And, um, it was the, the Iraq war was happening then, and it was tough, you know, to always, people would ask where we were from. It was the first thing they would ask, and we'd say, be like, America. And then they'd say, do you like Bush? And we'd be like, no. And then they'd be like, okay. And then we'd be friends, and um, we roll, I was carrying my guitar. I'm not sure what, how that happened, but I had a guitar like, on my back for this whole tour, and, or uh, it wasn't a tour, we were just traveling. And um, we, stu we stopped into a, um, a hotel in Syria, and, and it, was, it was in northern um, Syria, close to the border with Iraq, and it was called Deir Azur, the town. And um, we checked into the, this hotel, and the man behind the counter um, saw my guitar, and he decided we must be kindred spirits, because he was a poet, and he wrote poems. And, he brought out these chat books that he had written and began reciting his poems to us and hadn't even checked us into the room yet. And, um, I told him that I, I wanted to write a song from the point of view of an American child and an Iraqi child. And he said he would write me the Iraqi verse and he would do it in Iraqi dialect because he, he spoke some dialect, he lived close to the border. And, um, and he did, he did it overnight. He wrote pages and pages of this poem that I couldn't use all of it, but I used the beginning of it. At the time, there was this uh, there was this story in the news about some family in the United States where the the the, the man of the house had like hermetically sealed the house because he was afraid of anthrax or something. That that was. That was the scare back then, and um, and so then these the family was literally like suffocating in their own house from this fear of this um, terrorist attack, and um, and that went into the song, and then um, this poet whose name is Nur al-Din in Syria kind of used some of that same imagery, and he talked about so the the verse is about um, this kid in Iraq and his mother has covered up all the windows and locked all the doors, and they're not allowed to leave the house. Um, and she tells them that their house is a prison for them. So, two kids. Thank you. 